Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not? Hey, it's Fender Friday. I thought I knew what guitar I was featuring today, and then this happened. 1,007 precious stones, bedazzled Stratocaster super high-end custom shop. Wow, this guitar opened my mind to a whole new spectrum that Fender is apparently capable of producing. Alright, so if you're new to my channel, Fender Friday is where me, as a Gibson guy, I try to go find and learn something new about Fender. I don't always have all the information for these guitars, so you're welcome to chime in more down in the comment section, but let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is a 2014 Fender Custom Shop guitar. It was built for the 2014 NAMM show, and it was made to commemorate the 60th anniversary of Fender and the 260th anniversary of the Hermitage. So are we talking Andrew Jackson, Old Hickory, Les Paul Hermitage? No, we're talking the world famous museum in Russia. Because that's where the master custom shop builder of Fender, Yuri Shishkov got a lot of his influence for this. So this guitar has 1,007 precious stones in total on it. That consists of 556 top quality diamonds, 281 expensive emeralds, 100 raging rubies, 70 salty sapphires, <laughs> and 75 feet of golden inlay. Now I could be wrong, but I think that's what all these little squigglies are on this guitar on both the body as well as on the neck. That's that golden inlay, 75 feet of it. So that's a lot of precious stones on this thing, 1,007. So what does a guitar that's clearly built for Wario even cost? 850,000 dollars. Oh guys, 850,000 dollars. I mean, think about it. If you think a burst is expensive, those are usually 250,000 dollars of iconic guitar history. This Strat is asking four times that amount. $850,000 would pretty much get you the golden era of whatever guitar brand and every guitar brand in your collection. So this guitar really isn't built for the common man like me or like you. This is built for some rich prince. And it belongs in the Hermitage in Russia, clearly. But hey, wait a minute. Wild West guitars in California. Ooh, something tells me people don't want to pay 850 grand for this guitar if it's been sitting since 2014. Now that price clearly influenced once again by all these precious stones on it. Seeing as they don't tell us what carat the stones are, they just say it's the highest quality available. It's not really possible to calculate how much you're paying for the stones versus how much you're paying for this guitar. But Shishkov took inspiration for an old world European vibe for this guitar. It is built with a beautifully flamed Koa neck. And I guess the body is also koa, but it's mixed with Claro Walnut somehow. I didn't quite understand that in the listing. So let's take a look at this thing. Our headstock. You can see all the bedazzling, bejeweled stuff going on. But you've got your Fender logo on it as well, complemented with the wood grain on the headstock. The fretboard has just gone crazy. Honestly, I think it's really too over the top. I get that this is a guitar that's just supposed to be super fancy, just to be super fancy. But this one falls under the category of, I, I think it's just too busy for my own personal tastes. The back of the neck is just gorgeous. I would love to get to try a Strat one day that just has a heavily figured neck. I don't care if it's Koa. I'm Plenty happy with like a nice dark aged maple one. I'm sure we'll get there one day. And the face of the guitar has a very similar pattern. 
Now, a lot of Shishkov's other work usually has like a muse, something that it's trying to imitate or copy. So I'm guessing I'm just, you know, close minded. I don't see what this is actually trying to represent. And if I could see it, well, maybe I could appreciate the design more. But it just looks, you know, like a fancy peacock almost on your guitar. <laughs> but it looks like we've got golden knobs. And the one thing that blew my mind is, sure, the listing will tell us all about the diamonds and the rubies. But it doesn't even tell you what pickups are in here. So I can't really share that with you. I'm sure they're probably just a standard custom shop pickup. But along with the intricate pattern on the body, you also have, once again, the diamonds and all that other fun stuff all along the outside of the body running the perimeter of the guitar. Even the gold pickup coverings appear to have some engravings to them. We get to the back and once again we see some of the more similar gold engravings that were probably hand carved out of this guitar. And now I think I see what they're talking about, the koa and walnut mixture. If we look right here in the comfort cutaway area, you can see some different colored woods exposed. So I'm guessing this might be like a slightly pancake shaped body when it's glued together in order to give this higher end feel to it. So here's this guitar. Uh, I would not want to touch this guitar. I don't want to risk flicking any of the diamonds off, getting poked in the eye with them. Uh, don't want to devalue the $850,000 guitar. Wild West Guitars has big balls taking this thing on. But it truly is a magnificent piece of art. It's just not something I would personally be interested in owning. So, if you're a man that just has everything and you want this just to say you have it, well, you can buy it. But there's one more surprise for this guitar. Unlike Sauvage guitars with their $60,000 guitars that come in gig bags, you get a shrine with this thing. I love this. It's so beautiful. I have no idea what these books are, but they're really cool with that emerald jade look to them. Maybe they're just a prop. I really don't know. The listing didn't tell me. But you have a super duper road case that probably weighs 100 pounds in itself. It's got that gold interior to it. You have a huge museum grade framed 1007 precious stone diamond certificate of authenticity as well as your Fender COA. I really like this. This says fancy to me, building a shrine that just comes with the guitar. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a sound demo of this guitar, but I'll try to find another Shishkov creation to share with you guys here. <laughs> The only question left, would you rock the $850,000 Stratocaster or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. And hey, regardless of how you feel about this guitar, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, maybe share this video with a friend if you enjoyed it. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.